Well, if you saw a few videos ago, I've been messing with my old Bayliner, hoping to get it up and running for a family boat. I've been doing a lot of work on this thing. Today, the goal is to put it in the water and run it under load, but it took a long time to get to this point. We had to repack the bearings, put on brand new tires, made sure we had brake fluid and that whole system worked. Got new stickers for the tag. New DNR sticker. I already serviced the motor and started all that. That was a month ago then. You know, did the lower gear oil. Today I uh, hit all the grease fittings. There was a couple concerns I wanted to address before I actually put this thing in the water. And one of them was to get off the oxidation and actually give it a polish and a wax because I didn't want to have this huge scum line that would have been even more difficult later to take off. And it was a lot of work, but check this out. We got her backed into the shade here. You see how dull this thing is. I mean, there's absolutely no reflection at all. We're gonna be end up hitting it with these three here. Got my little DA out. We got an oxidation remover, a high gloss polish, and a cleaner wax. And we're gonna do those three steps on here and hopefully bring it back to some sort of shine. After step one, check this out. Just did a little patch right here, just this little section. Look at it, watch it, watch it, watch it. What? Already have reflection. Step one, just the oxidation remover. We're gonna get her beautiful once again. Wow. Well, I can tell you it's been days, if not weeks later, and I'm almost done polishing this thing. I did the oxidation removal all over, and then I did a polish all over. And then instead of doing the cleaner wax, I decided to get, it's still under the boot, this stuff. It's a polymer sealant, supposedly way better than wax, it lasts a lot longer. And it worked very well. I still gotta wipe the sealant off the very bottom, but figured I'd show you the side while I still got a little bit of light. It's not perfect. It'll probably never be perfect, but holy cow, it is a million times better. It's kind of hard to show white too. I mean, you gotta get something colorful next to it before you can see a reflection. It's shining, shining pretty dang good. Nice reflections. I'm dead. I still gotta wipe a bunch of wax off or sealing off. If I would have done anything different, I probably would have done a light wet sanding first before I tried the oxidation removal but I'm just happy it's almost over this phase is almost complete but I did a bunch of work to the cockpit the dashboard area too so let me show you that look how nasty and oxidated the dash is it looked like that down here too but I hit it with the polish just polish it went from nasty and dull it's pretty shiny so I'm gonna do that right up here take a good look at that and we're gonna change it right now she'll never be perfect but you know what this dash was screaming for some moisture and uh, it likes the polish check out the gauge cluster should I have used it on that wood grain I don't know but it looks a million times better than it did it actually looks like wood grain again. All that is is the, the polish. I don't know. I wouldn't say do it, but I did it. And I'm happy that I did. This entire boat was screaming for some UV protection. That's for sure. Definitely been neglected, but it happens, unfortunately. Now, the main problem with this boat is the rotten floor. Now, I got this board down here so I don't step there in the middle and crush the gas tank because there's literally nothing going on right there. But before I go through the whole process of ripping out all the carpet, the floor, and dealing with fiberglass and wood and whatever it's going to take to get that right, I wanted to test this thing under load. This boat's 21 years old. And, uh, yeah, I just want, you know, I already have it, so it's already been paid off and got my money out of it. If I can get a few more years to get the family out on the bay and have some fun, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, there was one other big issue that I wanted to address before I threw this thing in the water, and that was the bilge pump. When I first started this thing up this year and went through all the tests, the bilge pump did not work. So today, I hooked up the battery, 
tried it again, didn't work, check the fuse. The fuse was blown. Okay, put a new 5 amp fuse in. Hit the button, nothing. Check the fuse, the brand new fuse was blown. So I knew my motor was locked up in the bilge pump. So here's my pump. Well, this is just the casing for it. Mine actually is a cartridge style. So you pop, hold that little lever there and you twist this and this comes right out. And you can see this thing is like even sideways, like that motor is all the way seized up inside of there. And they sell replacements for it. So bada bing. All I had to do was cut the wires, take out the screws because I wanted to make sure this was cleaned out inside. We're going to put the three screws in, put this in, and just connect it to the two wires. And got make sure you get waterproof connectors and I even got some heat shrink because this is down in the bilge. So I'm going to do all that, pop in another brand new fuse, and hopefully we're good to go. Before I install it back into the bottom of the boat, I wanted to test it with the wires hooked up. I just changed the fuse, and here we go. The bilge pump now works. Beautiful, one step closer to doing the old water test. So if you have a bilge pump like this, the cartridge style, you do not need to take the whole thing out. The screws at the bottom, all you have to do is unpop the cartridge and set the lines and pull your hose. Now we're actually gonna do a water test. Fill up the bilge and put my plug in. We got some water down there. I want to check to see if uh, my hose is dry rotted, make sure there's no leaks in it. Make sure that doesn't need to be replaced. So let's fire up. Here we go. It's coming out and I don't see any leaks inside the boot. So that's good. All systems are working. So we got all that done. The trailer lights still work. I put the plug in. I actually cleaned up one of the pairs of seats and repaired a little bit of that just so I had something to sit on while I was under load. So let's go throw this thing in the water, make sure it floats and it runs under load and take it for a little drive. And if all that checks out, I guess the next video will be me ripping out the floor. But uh, yeah, let's go throw in the water. See you at the water. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. <laughs> I meant to get some video of me like launching and you know a little talk before I put in the water, but guess what? <laughs> we are underway. So far so good. Um, it's a crazy windy day and somebody apparently capsized out here. So a whole rescue team was putting in when I was trying to launch and the boat launch was just way overcrowded. But we're in the water, it started right up, it stalled once or twice after it started but everything's running now. We're up to temperature. Everything's looking good. Um, on the way here, one of my dust covers for my wheel bearings fell off. Something that happens all the time. I just bought some bearing buddies that I'm gonna put on there. So not too worried about that. My depth finder's not working. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Um, it's the same depth finder that I use for my, uh, my John boat. So it's something in the wiring, not the actual depth finder itself. Uh, but right now, we're out here, it's crazy windy, somebody just capsized, but we're on the water, it's running. Let me get out there and we'll get underway. Ugh, what a day so far. Well, this is nice, I haven't done this in a while. Woo! This is just my luck. Freaking white caps out here today, but we're here, so let me uh, throttle down and see how she goes.
the tack is not working. All the other gauges are working fine. Did not overheat. Oil pressure's still good. It is nasty out here though. Motor sounds good. Not getting a whole bunch of water in the uh, bilge, which is one thing I was worried about. I don't know how my bellows have uh, held up over the years. Probably something I need to fix here at some point in time, but there's no water in the bilge, so that's awesome. It's just too damn windy out here. Temperature's good. <laughs> this is fun though. I think we should have a celebration beer. What do you think? Cheers. It's getting bumpy. Hopefully I'll get back without any issues. Launch this thing, unlaunch this thing, dock this thing. One sip of beer and I'm already get this thing home and the next video will hopefully be me tearing up the floor and figuring out that whole thing. But until then, thank you guys for watching. God bless. It's such a beautiful day. Why's it gotta be windy? Why are you doing this to me? See you guys next time. <laughs>